If you enjoy our videos and podcasts and would like us to continue putting out regular quality content, head over to patreon.com forward slash aircrewinterview where you can donate monthly and in return you will get rewards ranging from early interview viewings, bonus clips, credited as a producer and much more. Thank you and enjoy. I mean, the strengths, obviously, the thrust to weight ratio, the power, um, it's, you know, it's got a good rate. It, it, it does actually have a, a good turn radius as well. I mean, you could actually do it. Where it starts to struggle is, is slow speed performance because you're, you're AOA limited. So you can't, you know, once you get that, I would say that's both the strength and a weakness because as a strength, it actually keeps you – you can you can get your energy back because you can never exceed what the jet what the jet can perform. Yeah. If you're in a situation where you're in a slow speed fight and you want to get your knots back, you just got to let off. You just push forward and the jet goes, OK, copy that. Let's back to the moon versus, you know, like a Hornet or something like that, where you it'll give you whatever you ask for. And now you're like, well, now it's like a real airplane. I'm trying to let off, but I just I'm not getting the energy back. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you call it a weakness, too, but it's a dangerous airplane. I mean, it really is. It'll hurt you. It'll hurt you. It'll put you to sleep. You know, I, I had a friend that was ki- was killed in the F-16B course. Um, uh, he G-locked. And, you know, they have made some advances. Some F-16s do have the uh, uh, auto GCAS is what it's called, auto ground collision avoidance system, which has been implemented since I started flying. I've never flown with one that has it. But um, and the Block 30s, I think, still don't have it. But it it. it it was an airplane that you had to respect because, you know, nine G's is just, I mean, people don't realize how bad that can be, you know, how tough that that can be on your body and, you know, your G strain stayed awake, all that stuff. So, um, performance wise though, you really can't, you, you couldn't beat it. I mean, it, it could do some amazing things just going out and flying with it. Yeah, because I've, I've talked to a few F-16 guys, and is it apparently, is it, is it true that you don't have a neck? It just, like, it's head to shoulders? Uh, oh, my like, God. Is that, is that a true... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, the thing about the F-16 is, so, and I didn't do this. This is how I've got arthritis in my neck now. Oh, um, wow. okay. Yeah, I tore some tendons doing BFM with the wing commander one time because I thought right. I was better than the, what they tell you to do. Um, the thing about that is you had to set your neck. So if you were doing any kind of turning, like if you weren't just sitting there straight, if you didn't set your head on the headrest before you started pulling, you could seriously injure yourself because wow. now you're, you're putting all that weight, you know, yeah. of gravity. And then when you add helmet mounted queuing systems and stuff, it just adds weight. NVGs were a big deal. Um, obviously your neck gets stronger, which is funny because, you know, Coming from the F-16, going to the Hornet, it was like, God, this is gentlemanly. This is nice. You know, we're not pulling any Gs at all. You know, I went my my first flight in the in the Hornet. I went out, and I'm sorry, I'm tangential about everything, but I went out and, you know, he's like, all right, what do you want to do? And I'm like, all right. So we went down to we had the the bigger GE motors, the 404, I think, and the the C model, mm-hmm. and we went down to like 6,000 feet. I'm like, blower. You know, I found corner airspeed. And I was just holding seven and a half G's on the limiter and just doing a continuous 360. And he's like, what are we doing? Why? We don't. I'm like, no, I'm just trying to see. You know, I'm just happy. You know, I'm just trying to see what it'll do. You know, and he's like, we don't do that in this airplane. Oh, OK. Well, all right. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, fine. Worse. I'm a 9G guy. 